everyone, out here today on the Duckabush River Trail in the Olympic National Forest. Uh, out here today with Adam. We're going to spend a couple of nights out here. Uh, we think out at a, it's called Five Mile Camp along the river. Got some great weather. Hoping it holds like we should. Uh, be a good couple days out here. Looking forward to it. We made it to Five Mile Camp. It's a pretty steep climb getting up here, and then the sea drops down. Maybe we picked a good spot. This is where I'm set up for the night. Uh, I sleep with my head on this end, feet that way, so I'll be looking out that way. Great view and uh, the world's greatest sound machine, which to sleep. All right. Here's the view of the hammock. Set up in porch mode. Not bad at all. Oh, also got these lights trying out on this trip. They weigh nothing, so fun little luxury item. So I'm camped up over there. Camped up. It's not even a word. <clears throat> this is where Adam is set up. And, uh, and water filtration set up. <clears throat> and then, uh, gotta have a fire tonight, hopefully. So on fire. Enjoy all this awesomeness.
Cheers. Sorry, I was out of my favorite at the uh, Mountain House Chicken and Dumplings. And the uh, guy working there recommended this brand. It's a new, I guess, fairly new brand. A little more expensive, but he said it's amazing. He said, uh, my day different how much better the food is, so I'm gonna give it a go. Good. What's weird is the Mountain House Mills take one and a half to two cups. This only needed uh, six ounces. It's kind of weird. But it's hydrated and it's really good. They're great. I had to sleep in the hammock. <clears throat> Completely can hear me with the sound of the, uh, the river. It's such a peaceful sound to sleep by. Anyway, I think uh, I think Adam's still asleep or maybe hanging out, hanging out in his tent. I decided to get up, take my breakfast, eat some old milk this morning. Uh, about to enjoy it here in the hammock. I'm still sleeping a little bit. But uh, let's sit here, enjoy my old mill, stare at the river. We're trying to decide if we're going to stay here tonight, if we want to pack up and go down to the two mile camp. Adam has to go back a little earlier uh, tomorrow morning, so that would save him a couple hours to uh, go further back up to childhood. But we'll play it by ear, see how things go. Either way, we're out here for another night. It's beautiful. I'm going to shut up and eat my over before it gets too cold. Sleep in, relax a bit while I was uh, breaking camp. So I'm gonna jump on ahead of him as he finishes uh, breaking camp <clears throat> so I can try to get ahead in the rain before I move on to uh, another campsite along the trail and uh, start this steep climb back out of this little valley. Should be fun. I'm still a little bit behind me, but 
the uh, really good campsite at Two Mile Camp was already taken, but luckily the day before, or yesterday, <clears throat> on our way in, we got lost in the trail because there was a fork in it. We thought we were on the right part, and we ended up finding this really cool secluded private camp spot just for uh, one or two people to set up at. I marked it on my map, so uh, I kept hiking out past the Two Mile Camp, made it here. Pulled all my stuff out of my pack at the campsite and took my pack back to the trailhead or the fork where the trail splits off with the note for Adam, so hopefully he finds it. But looks like this is going to be our spot for the night. Uh, I left Adam a slightly better spot for his tent. It's right by the fire ring. But I'm going to be right here with another great view for the night. So, time to get things set up. Now the camp's made, time for some lunch. Not the greatest. <clears throat> not terrible, but not good. Let's go. Didn't help much. What are you having tonight, Adam? So I've got this messy pot I cooked in with dinner. It's also got some uh, char on the outside from the fire. I'm going to show an easy way to clean it up. Where you don't have to use soap, you can still adhere to the leave no trace principles. I scooped up some of that sand and I uh, put it in the pot. I'm going to add a little water and scrub with my hand and uh, clean it up that way. The sand acts as an abrasive like a scrubber without having to use soap. I'm loving my new hammock lights. Silly, but man, they're fun. All right, so it's a little after nine. Had a nice evening by the fire. And we'll hang out for a while. But even with the fire, mosquitoes are gonna be too much. So, especially where Adam had set up, I don't know why. He's a little bit further away from the water, but still, mosquitoes are really bad over there, even with the uh, fire. So we decided to call tonight. Got a call into my hammock. Maybe read a book for a little bit. Maybe just stare out at the river like I'm doing right now. Anyway, it's been a great trip. Uh, Adam has to get up early tomorrow morning, head back into uh, Tacoma. He's got some work he's got to do. So. 
I'll be hiking out solo in the morning. Pretty short hike because of the uh, campsite we went with. We're probably only 45 or 50 minutes away from the trailhead, so it'll be easy to hike out all downhill. Should be uh, a good night of sleep. It was supposed to rain today, it never did. And about an hour ago, the skies cleared off. Maybe at some point tonight, I'll probably have it and be able to see the stars if I'm lucky. We'll see. Either way, I'm gonna call it a night and uh, look forward to the morning. I had a really hard time falling asleep last night. I'm not sure why. Probably didn't fall asleep till sometime after midnight. It ended up being a nice clear night. The forecast had called for rain yesterday. Never had any rain. Uh, got up once in the middle of the night. Tons of stars in the sky. It was great. You could actually see, uh, see to walk around without having an extra light. So I wish I had known that. I could have taken off the, the uh, rain fly, the tarp off the top of the hammock so I could stare at the stars when I woke up. I think Adam must have headed out sometime around 5 or 6 this morning. I'm almost finished breaking down camp and I'm going to start working my way out. The hike out after every trip is always bittersweet. I'm always sad to leave. Nature being out here, it's just so beautiful and peaceful. It's a place where my mind can truly shut off. All thoughts just come and pass. No lingering, no time traveling in your mind. And worrying about the past or future, just you in the moment out here in nature. So it's sad to leave it, but I'm always excited to get home to see my beautiful wife. My, uh, Awesome, awesome dogs. They're just super sweet. And uh, that gets me excited. Knowing that I get to go home and see them. And also excited to know that this will always be here, hopefully. So I can come back anytime. Anyway, I'll probably have about an hour on this this morning and then I'll be at the car. So this is where the Dunkabush River empties out into the river that we were following on the trail. It empties out into the Hood Canal, not of the Puget Sound. Of course, no backpacking trip would be complete without stopping for a burger, bacon cheeseburger to be specific, and cream for cut fries. Perfect end to the trip.